Video Games Recap What to say about this gun? How's about, why bother? This gun is so underpowered, it's ridiculous. It fires a burst fire of four bullets, but it may as well fire four marshmallows. This weapon is just pointless. Unless they decide to patch it at a later date, the only positives I can think of are that it's not the worst weapon in zombies. The only thing to say about this gun is, don't waste 5 grand on it unless you have to. It does improve a fair bit once packer punched, as it goes from a turd to a polished turd with a reflex sight. If you've ever had this gun on Black Ops 1, then you'll be glad to know it hasn't changed much. It still feels as good as it ever did. Perhaps slightly weaker in comparison, but not by enough that it makes a difference. The Galil is a powerful, flexible assault rifle and holds onto its ammo much better than the Type 25. Upgraded, this gun has more power and a large ammo capacity and comes with a nice little reflex sight to boot. If you have speed cola and possibly double tap, this gun can be a great secondary weapon for breaking into those later rounds. The FAL, like the Fin FAL from Black Ops 1, is a solid and powerful semi-automatic rifle, kinda like having the Packer Punched M14 on steroids. This weapon will do just nice for low to mid rounds. This gun used to be called the Epic Win in Black Ops 1, which is extremely ironic as it's nothing but an epic fail. Once upgraded, it becomes a burst fire rifle with a cool reflex sight. However, this is about the only thing that seems to change, as its overall strength isn't greatly improved. So, aside from ammo retention, there's little point trying to take this gun into the higher rounds. I hope this was helpful. If so, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.